So hello everyone it's Aboy Davis and welcome back to the channel in today's video we are setting up our android studio in the right way especially we will get the jdk ndk and sdk stuff all ready so you can build your android games in unreal engine without any headache and now if you are wondering what this all means don't worry these are the essential tools that you need to package your game for android and i will walk through everything step by step so super easy and no stress so make sure to grab your coffee and hit the subscribe button let's get begin first thing first come to your epic games in unreal engine under library click on this drop down arrow of our engine version 5.54 and under options you will find installation for android so make sure to enable it and apply to download it uh, will take something size of 8 to 9 gbs and now we are ready to install our ndk jdk and sdk stuffs but we don't have an idea about the exact version to be installed so for that come to our unreal engine documentation and under filters by title search for android sdk there you will find setting up android sdk and ndk so click that but unfortunately unreal haven't added that yet or maybe some another problem i don't know so for now let me just switch it to 5.4 and i will show you and there you will find it have this documentation under here you can see all the versions that are required for our JDK, NDK and SDK stuffs but these are for 5.4 and we want it for 5.54 so I did some of the tests with the different versions and I find the best one that works with our 5.54 so for that simply click on this advanced android studio setup guide and it will redirect us to the another page and here scroll down and there you will find install android studio archives so simply click on that link or you can directly search for it then it will ask for some terms and conditions so simply agree to them and now you will find lots of version of android studio but i found one which uh, supports our 5.54 so for that search for corolla feature drop august 29 2024 and download the windows version of it and here I'm not downloading it because I already have this thing installed in my system. And once this uh, setup will be installed, what you have to do, simply open it and just click next and next and make sure to not to change the directory location or otherwise it will cause many errors and some problems. And again, I'm not doing it because I already have this thing installed. Now open your installed Android studio and here by clicking on this three dots, you will find a SDK manager option. Open that and here make sure to select the Android 4 of 34 levels of API then go on the SDK tools here select the SDK tools 36 SDK tool 34 scroll down and select 30 29 28 then scroll down to NDK here select 25.1.8 and then again scroll down to SDK command line tools and here select 19 16 and for CMake select 3.10.2 lastly make sure to enable Android emulator Android SDK platform tools Android SDK Tools 26.1, Android Support Repository and Google Play Service Rev 49 and Google Repository Rev 58. And after that simply click on OK and apply so it will be started downloading and installing all these stuffs. So now we have our NDK and SDK installed then we will go for our JDK. For that go to your web browser and search for OpenJDK 17. Go on this Oracle J17 archive download. Here simply scroll down and download it for the windows and once it will be downloaded open the setup and do the same next and accept procedural and again make sure to not change the directory and again I'm not downloading it because I already have it and I already set up it and once it will be done then that means we have our everything installed now we need to set up this inside our Unreal Engine so for that open any of your project in 5.54 and first thing first make sure that in your project setting under targeted hardware change the optimization project setting to mobile and scalable this is because the build is for mobile and we want it to be optimized then go to the supported platform and here uncheck everything except the android and windows now search for the list of maps and from here add the number of maps that you want to include in your build and always remember to select the dot umap type of your map now scroll down to the platforms under android you will find a red warning and once you will click on the config it will become green that means the files are now writable then scroll down and do the same for google play services here on top enable the package game data inside apk that means the game data will be included inside apk it will not be separated and on top under sdk targeted version make sure to make it 33 and our actual version is 34 and there only on the top use your company name and name of your project to rewrite your name of your game and make sure to follow the namings rule that is com.company.projectName. name now our project is optimized
optimize the bit and we are ready for our android build the only thing that is left is our sdk setups so for that come to android sdk there you will find it will ask you for the location of sdk ndk and jdk and i already have this field but i will show you how to do it so for our very first sdk open your android studio under sdk manager you will find the android sdk location so simply copy that and paste it on our sdk location now for ndk paste the same location in your file manager and open ndk folder then open 25.1.8 folder and then copy this location and paste it in our ndk folder and lastly for our jdk again open your file manager go to your c drive then program files then java then open our jdk 17 and copy the location and paste it in our jdk location and we are all set done now lastly come to your level under platforms refresh the platform status and then under android package the project and just to keep the size small i am packing it in shipping mode then select the location where you want to save it and our packaging will started or our build will be started this will take up to 30 to 40 minutes if you are doing it for the first time and it ultimately depends on your gpu and after the package you will find the successful result message so simply open the apk in your mobile and you will find the build is working absolutely fine so that's enough for this video if you have any query related to this all stuffs you can ask me in the comment section and you can even ask me in my discord server and you can join the discord server for more updates and you can show your support on patreon and don't forget to subscribe it's important bye bye